When a trailer starts rocking, you might get seasick, so you better watch this video. And boy, when they're detached from the truck, they want to wobble when you walk. So say if someone's walking in the front, you know it, and the wife or husband's sleeping, and then the husband or wife's in the back on a computer, and they're having a morning coffee, and all of a sudden the coffee starts rocking like this. Well, that's because you need to lock your trailer down. Right now, we have it on cinder blocks, just a little bit on cinder blocks with a board just to stop that rocking. But we got we went out and bought some of these right here. They're jacks. They go in between the tires. So this is only if you have two uh, two sets of tires, a dual axle. Can't do this with a single axle. This is what we got right here. So what you do is you put them between the axles. If you take your hand and you, with this RV I can't, with this trailer I can't. But if you take your hand and you put them on top of the tires, like on a fifth wheel and you put your finger on top of the tire and you rest your elbow on top of the other tire. Then you have someone go in the front or back of the RV, especially in a fifth wheel, go in the front and have them kind of like move back and forth or jump around. You'll feel these tires moving on your fingers. If you lock the axles, it'll really straighten that up so it's not as wobbly, so you don't get the seasick feeling. I don't like the seasick feeling. I, I, I just... It feels like I'm in a car or a truck, you know? I want to be in an RV. I want it flat. I, I don't want it to move. Especially if you're on a hill. This is really nice. You don't roll down a hill. These suckers can lock these axles really good. These are the heavy-duty type right here. And then it comes with one of these wrenches. But what's nice about this, it's got a curve to it. A lot of them don't. And this is super long. Some of the ones I've seen, I've had a pair. They're only like this long. This one's pretty long. You go right here. Take it like this. Just tighten it up. That's it. I mean, you, I, I got two fingers on it. So you can see it locks between the tires and you can't you, you can't move this RV now. I do want to say one thing with these, if you're going to lift the front of the camper up, you want to loosen them up a little bit because you don't want them tweaking the axles out. I mean, you can move them a couple inches, but if you're going to move them like a foot up to get it on a truck, you want to use chalk your tires and take these off. These are for when you're parked. So don't lift the RV up like this because just think your axles are like this they gotta put you're gonna put them in a big big bind and you don't want to do that it's the biggest bang for the buck basically because you can as long as you have two axles and it's a trailer or fifth wheel you can do this you can use these i don't like you i don't like even stepping in a trailer without these because then you get this gets rid of the wobble not all of it if you use a bunch of things together they'll you know like a tripod stand for a fifth wheel that does help but the first thing you get is this because this will stop you from rolling down a hill you also want to chalk your tires with this too. You still don't want to rely on this fully, but between you chalking your tires and this, you can put on a pretty steep incline and you're not going anywhere. As long as you do it right, do it correctly. There's a few different types you can get. This is the heavy duty series. I like this one. Uh, it's a couple bucks more, but it's worth it. I'll put a link below in the description. If you want to pick one up, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But if you have a trailer or a fifth wheel, I'd pick one up.